What up, everybody? Instruct the Beats back again here with our area unit. Today, we're talking about area of irregular figures covered with unit squares. So let's uncover our objective today. Our objective today, today I will be able to determine the area of irregular figures by decomposing them into rectangles and counting the unit squares that cover them. So let's take a look at our area of definition that we learned all the way back in our first area lesson. Our area of definition says the number of unit squares that cover the surface of a figure. Now if you notice, it didn't say the number of unit squares that cover the surface of a rectangle or a square. Now those are the shapes that we've been talking about in our area unit but you can find the area of any surface of any figure. And today we're going to be taking the knowledge of finding areas of rectangles and applying them to irregular figures, which leads us to an important question. What exactly is an irregular figure? Our definition of an irregular figure is a figure that's made up of one or two shapes put together. Okay, So they don't look like a normal rectangle or square or triangle or circle. There are a couple different figures kind of mashed together to make something that doesn't look normal. But the cool thing about the irregular figures we're going to be looking at is that they can all be split into rectangles. So if you look right here, this is just made up of three different rectangles. I can split this bottom one and then I can split this top one. Okay, And now I've made three separate rectangles that make up this irregular figure. Now you could also split them a different way if you wanted to. Maybe you wanted to split it here and here. Okay, and you have three separate rectangles, but that's the good thing about the irregular figures that we're going to be dealing with is you will always be able to split them up into rectangles. So here we could split it vertically, or we could even make it three pieces and split it this way. And here we have one, two, three rectangles and squares that make up our irregular figure. Let's take a look at some steps that we can use to find the area of these types of shapes. So our first step is we're going to decompose our irregular figures into rectangles, just like we just did, right? We, we split them into two or more rectangles that made up the shape. Once you decompose them, you're going to find the area of each of the rectangles, and then you're going to add those areas together. And those are our three steps we're going to be using. So let's take a look at these in action. So I want to know what is the area of this figure. So my statement I'm actually going to write up here so I have more room. The area is blank, and then I'm going to put square units. So my first step is to decompose these into rectangles. Now you can decompose them any way you want as long as they're rectangles. I always like to take the path of least resistance. Some, I see that I can split these vertically, right? So if I split these apart right here at my two purple lines, I have now made one, two, three separate rectangles out of my irregular shapes. So I have decomposed my figure into three separate rectangles. And I can actually for this one, just separate them so that way you can see what I am talking about a little bit better. Now typically you won't be able to split them up like this and you'll just have to draw your line, but for our first example I wanted to show you what it looks like when you really decompose them. My next step is to find the area of each rectangle. Now if you noticed I didn't say use the area formula, I didn't say count them, I said find the area. Because sometimes, especially when they're covered with these unit squares, it's easier just to count them. So I have 4, 8, 12, 16, 20. So my area for this one is 20 square units. My area for this one is 4, 8, 12, 16, 20 square units for this one. And then for this one, it's going to be 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. So I didn't use my area formula. I just used my skip counting and my knowledge of area to help me find the areas. Now all I need to do is add them together. So the total area is 20, 40, 50. The total area of my figure was 50 square units. Once I decompose them and found the area of each piece, I can add those together. That leads us to our key thought today, which is area is additive, right? Multiplication is repeated addition. So once we multiply or skip count to find all the pieces, we can just add those pieces together and that will give you the total area. Area is additive. That's going to help you find the area of these irregular figures. Let's take a look at a we-do. So here we have our we-do problem. It says Mrs. Keaton is covering her miniature golf course with an artificial turf. How many one foot squares will she need to cover the entire course? So my statement's going to say she will need blank one foot squares to cover the entire course. So now that I've written the statement, I need to go back and identify. 
So it's asking me how many one foot squares will she need to cover the entire course. Now obviously cover is a key word for area because area is when we're covering things with unit squares. But anytime it's asking you for one foot squares, really this is asking you how many unit squares will she need to cover? This is another way to ask for area. Each of these is going to be one square foot. So really what it's asking you is, how many unit squares am I gonna need to cover? This is another way they ask you for area. So now that I know I'm at looking for area, I need to decompose my figure into rectangles. So again, you could do it lots of different ways. I'll do it horizontally this time, okay? So you could split it this way, and you could split it this way. Now, here's the key though. I haven't overlapped any of my rectangles. So if you want to split it vertically, that's fine, but you got to make sure you don't have the same square in two different rectangles. When you're doing irregular figures, they can't be overlapping. I've clearly decomposed this to this rectangle right here, and this one is next to, but it doesn't cross over and overlap with my other rectangle. That's a key misunderstanding a lot of people have, is if they were just counting these, they might count the same square twice and get the wrong answer. So now that I've decomposed them into non-overlapping rectangles, I need to find the area of each one. This one's easy, one, two, three, okay? This one right here, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight groups of two. So my area for this is going to be 16 square feet. Okay, this should also be square feet. And then down here I have two, four, six square feet here. And now that I've found the area of each one, I just need to add them together. Just so I don't make a mistake, I got 19, add another six, and my area for the entire figure is going to be 25, which means it took 25 one foot squares to cover the entire course. Let's try a you try problem, okay? If you are ready to try this one by yourself, you can go ahead and push pause right now and then push play when you're ready to check it. If you're not ready, that's okay. You can do it with me as another we do problem. Hopefully you just paused it and now you're checking your work. My question says, what is the total area? So you know we love our sides check strategy right here. So my statement's going to say the total area is blank square units. There we go. And when I went back and identified, it didn't tell me anything other than I was looking for total area, which I already know. I see that I have an irregular figure, so I need to decompose them. Um, I'm just gonna split it vertically. Again, you could split it a different way and get the same answer because area is additive. You can add different numbers to get the same answer. Now, 10 has nothing to do with this, so I'll erase that. Then I'm gonna split it vertically this way and I'm gonna have three separate rectangles. So my area for this one is two, four, six, eight, ten 10 square units. Then I have one, two, three, four, five, 10, 15, 20 square units here and another 10 over here. So now I've found the area of each of my separate rectangles. I'm gonna add them together and I'm going to get the total area to be 40 square units. So if you forget everything that you heard in this video, except for one thing, we want this to be the thing you take with you. Area is additive, all right? When you have an irregular figure, you can split it apart, find the areas of the different rectangles and then add them back together to find your total area. Thank you so much for checking out this lesson. We really appreciate you spending your time with Instructive Beats. If you want to hear an awesome song, check out our area and perimeter song. We would love for you to subscribe and like the video. Leave a positive comment if you would like to as well. Again, thank you so much. We appreciate you. Instructive Beats, out!